Hello, this is my, um, I guess vlog about my schizophrenia and this one's about um, my hallucinations and delusions that I had and by the way I'm taking antipsychotics, I'm taking 30 milligrams of aripiprazole and um, if I need it then I take the Rosafan that's just in case I have a really bad day or something but um, yeah so um, basically I've been having these hallucinations since about four years ago, so that's 2000, 2000, yeah, 2012, yeah, 2012, so since I was 12, um, and basically I used to see figures behind people, like that dark shadowy figures and like a void of colour and light um, and I would hear voices telling like basically narrating what I was doing it would sound like a cafe a cafe full of people um, uh, and they would all talk at once unless they wanted me to do something then they would scream what they wanted me to do all at once, all of them saying the same thing um, like do this or do that, don't do that um, pardon me um, um, that was four years ago no, was it four? Yeah, four years ago. And now it's almost the same, but I don't see shadowy figures behind people. I more see, like, a, I more see a raccoon and Angel Gabriel. Like, the one from the Bible, possibly, I'm not sure, but it's an angel called Gabriel. So, um, that's, that's the thing. The, and the raccoon's called Mitch. But my antipsychotics have made that go away. I don't see them anymore. Which the vacuum used to be a good hallucination. It used to help me out and tell the voices off and um like just help me in a way to calm down somehow. Um but I used to have delusions as well um recently this year and that was like that my food was poisoned and my parents were trying to kill me like they're trying to poison my food um so i would eat the food um but my eating hasn't been that good anyway i'm usually like i pick and then sometimes i binge and i eat a lot of food and then and then i just go back to picking again um, so that varies a lot anyway. Um, what else? Um, I used to feel ants pulling on my legs. Or someone touching me on the shoulder. And then I would turn around and, and nobody would be there. It would just be um, nothing like... Um, I would wake up in the night as well sometimes and I'd see like a figurine man um, at the end of my bed just staring at me um, but then I'd blink and it'd go away but at, at that time I'd hear lots of voices all just whispering like you can't make out what they're saying but you know that they're there um, um, I also had very strong feelings that somebody was going to kill me, so I would I would always be really paranoid that um, somebody was just going to burst through the door and just stab me or shoot me or something. So I wouldn't I'd go outside very often back then. Um, now I'm okay because the methadone medication stops that. The aripiprazole. I'm 16 so I can't really 
I don't have that many options available when it comes to antipsychotics because most of them need to be over 18 I think or over 16 I'm not sure but some of them are, are an exception to me because my schizophrenia is quite bad and when I get in psychosis it's really um I can't control it I'm disconnected from reality there's nothing I can really do um, Uh, when I'm, I'm at my worst and and I can't distinguish what is from reality and what is my imagination or my schizophrenia then um, I just I feel like it's a whole different like zone I feel like I'm in a whole different universe like are just out of it completely sometimes i can't even remember what happens it gets that bad sometimes um but um most of the time it's just pacing around um talking to myself or well, not to myself to the voices but obviously it must sound like me talking to myself um and um, me like I used to turn my hands up in the air like this for for a while and um, repeat what people used to say. Um, what else would I do? Um, when I've because I've been in a mental health hospital twice, the same one twice. It's a adolescent unit I used to um my worst symptoms were then I would be screaming and scratching and yelling and swearing and like I was vividly hallucinating so much then when I was in hospital um but I guess it really depends how but some people who were in the hospital weren't that bad, but they didn't have the schizophrenia, they just had, um, I'm, I'm not sure, but, um, I was definitely one of the worst, not the one of the worst, but at that time, I was not a very good patient, I was punching the staff, hitting the staff, I was very violent because I was scared and I was doing what the voices were telling me to do. But that's not always the case it's not always hitting and doing what they tell me to do the bad things sometimes it's just oh pick up that pen now I'll just pick up the pen and that's it just put the pen down again um, uh, sometimes the voice is now what I do so it's like oh now she's talking to him and now she's walking and looking around to her left, to her right, um, and they just know what I do. Um, but about my hallucinations and delusions, um, I used to hallucinate also rats on the ground, on, on the ceiling mostly, they're on the walls and the ceiling, um, and they were like talking to me like, oh you're worthless, like you know, you don't, you don't need to do anything like that, or, um, uh, things like that. But the voices have never been positive to me, they've always been negative voices, so they're always like, oh, you're worthless, oh, you're, um, you should, oh, when it's really bad, they tell me to kill myself, but, um, there's only one time which I've actually believed that and done that and that was when I overdosed on paracetamol and that was when I was first admitted to an adolescent ward, mental health ward. That was with CAMS, I'm with peer now. Like CAMS is um, children, adolescent mental health services um, but peer is a more adult and specialised um, service um but i can go into that about another episode but i know um 
Oh yeah, I call them episodes, psychotic episodes. When I get really bad, or when I get really poorly in, and I can't assume which world she added to and stuff. I can talk about that in another video, I think. Um, the poison food, when I was in hospital, also when I was on the mental health ward, the poison in the food, I used to flip my food everywhere and just be disgusted. And I thought that the um, lorazepam, which is a tiny blue pill, which they used to calm you down, or they inject you, which I have been injected a lot of times when I was in there, um, because I got put in the section, and then they can just inject you when they want. When you're in the section, you don't, they don't need permission by your parents or anything. Um, but I used to think that the lorazepam, this tiny blue pill, was um, was a maggot, and my pills are maggots. And there was maggots in my food. I used to see maggots in my food, so um, that used to be a thing. Um, I did at the time. I used to see um, what else? I used to scratch at my arms because I thought there were ants in my arms. I used to feel like them crawling around. Like I thought there were bugs in my arms and in my ears and in my head. So. Um, I'd like scratch them and try and get them out. Um, um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this duck pig. I can't really think of anything else to talk about. But um, yeah, I, I, I've got other topics to talk about and I'll make new videos about them. So, okay, I'll see you next time because can't think of anything else to talk about, so, okay, bye.